Bradley, how was the atmosphere on set? It was tense. It was exotic. It was erotic. It was incredible. The passion. Oh, I mean, people had to be blindfolded because it was so... You couldn't look at what was going on. It was so breathtakingly beautiful. and you know, It was just work. We go to work is what we do in the morning. And what you do is hopefully you surround yourself with really good people who seem to be making the same kind of film you're making. And you go to work. And and that's where the fun is. And that's on this in particular because it's so much about the acting and the actors that each time somebody new would come in, it would brighten the day and, oh, what's going to happen now? And it was, it was great. <laughs> How was it to work with a, a director of the caliber of uh, Terry Gilliam? I, I, I still quite, quite believe that it's happened. Actually, it's uh, you know he's one of those kind of legendary names of cinema that uh, he, you know you kind of you, I've watched his films, I've kind of uh, admired his films, and then suddenly to find myself in one, even sort of briefly, is is just beyond anything. That, that seems real. I mean, it's kind of. I had a Life of Brian poster up on my wall when I was a kid, and you know, I had to think back to kind of like you know, I was looking at this kind of mugging face in this poster, and now you know, I'm in one of his films. It's just that's just really weird. You assembled a brilliant cast for this movie. How did you go about assembling it? Was were they your first choices, or do you have to adjust and find the perfect fit? Uh, no, again, because we had such a short time, I just li literally started calling up people I've wanted to work with, or at least, uh, or I knew. And, then, and surprise, surprise, they all said yes, and here they are in the film. It's extraordinary. Right. The cast from the film is brilliant. What, uh, what did you get from this experience that you can take back uh, as an actor and as an artist? Oh, well, I mean, I was just wor working. I mean, I was th only there for a, a, a couple of days, but... Um, you know, to work with people like uh, Christoph Waltz and to watch him work, and Ben Whishaw and Peter Stomar particularly, they were in the scene that I was doing, uh, and to see them at first hand and how instinctive they are, their decision making is just phenomenal. Um, but in, in addition to that, I mean, you can be a fan of somebody who's, who's great, but they were all just really generous people, funny, generous, kind of warm people. And, and so you, I think ultimately you warm to someone because of their humanity. You know, you can admire them because of their skill, but you're drawn to them because of who they are as people. And so to so find uh, both of those boxes ticked uh, in just, you know, a day and a half was, was amazing. I'm a big fan of books. I like reading. I actually prefer books to movies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so would you would you ever write a book? No, I can, I'm a bad writer. That's why that's why I can make movies, but I can't make books. So I like reading. So I I, I wish I was a great writer, but I'm not. So I, I use pictures. Is there anything you're a fan of? Anything that you follow apart from cinema, music, uh, fashion, anything, sports? Uh, I support Liverpool Football Club. Um, uh, I'm a big. Beatles and Elvis Presley fan. Um, this is all kind of like this is like somebody who's kind of like talking from the 70s or something, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I suppose those are things I follow. I follow football because uh, my son, who's seven, is really into football as well. So and tennis and cricket. So yeah, sports, I guess. Yeah.